I'm really not sure if this is such a fantastic idea given that this car is definitely not a 4x4 as brave and valiant as it is it does not have four wheel drive <laughs> welcome to Saudi Arabia this is not the Saudi Arabia we hear about very much a Saudi Arabia that's mountainous and green where nature reigns supreme I was in the middle of my trip across the country in the far south when a local friend showed me a pin on the map and told me, you have to go there. Nobody knows about this place. He did warn me that a 4x4 vehicle would come in handy. This is no two-wheel drive country. But, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And being on these mountain roads here in southern Saudi Arabia, since I'm already here, might as well keep going. I kind of have to keep going. <laughs> Why do I always do this to myself? Always, every time. Well, I wasn't going to give up that easily. The tracks up until this point were super bumpy, but just about drivable. Whoa! Look at this crazy camel! That's a natural color. Huh? Look at that! Okay, no, I, I gotta check this out. This looks pretty unreal. Hey, camel! What? What are you? Look at that! Look at that pattern! How crazy is that? And there's another one over there! Whoa! Okay, no, I'm, I'm now starting to notice that, that that can't be real. It's real color. It must be painted. Are you painted? <coughs> what say you, huh? It's pretty quiet. <coughs> These are my friends over here and they're fancy 4x4. Four four. Hello. Hi. Well, yeah. I think this is it for me because check this out ooh, ooh, ooh. check that out <laughs> that is mud water i don't think my car can handle this if you want you can try should i try <laughs> should i try and sink this beauty nah i think i'm gonna stop here no okay i'm gonna get in your car yeah okay all right i'm switching to a proper 4x4 finally okay see there's no more space in the actual car because it's got all of our camping gear so I'm gonna have to sit here. <laughs> Front row seats. <laughs> this That's should be crazy. this should be fun, guys, because there's a bit of an off-roading experience coming up. And when I say a bit, I mean all the off-roading. <laughs> First challenge, Amina's gonna speed through the water. Let's do this. <laughs> Pray for me. Okay. Bye bye. Let's go, yalla. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! This is how it begins. <laughs> Alright, now we're going up. There's a baby coming here. Yeah! That camel was like, what? <laughs> Literally like, what? <laughs> if you've ever ridden on top of a Jeep, you know the drill. Hold on tight, because it's gonna get real bumpy. But if you stop to admire the views, it's like a free countryside safari. All sorts of animals here. Camels, cows, pure nature at its best. Okay guys, since we've just entered a wadi, which is basically a seasonal river and it has a really, um, <laughs> let's say, sandy and slippery riverbed, I decided to come inside the car. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm glad I did. <laughs> and so we found ourselves driving deep into the wadi that my friend had told me about. This place is so incredibly remote that only locals ever come here. As we would later find out, many of these locals have never even left this valley in their entire lives. 
As for me, I just couldn't believe that a place this lush, this green and this tropical existed in Saudi Arabia. It looks like we have arrived in our lush green oasis. This place is just absolutely unbelievable. I mean, we are in Saudi Arabia in the middle of these southern rugged rocky mountains. And here it is, a place that looks like this. So lush and green and beautiful. It looks like a paradise garden. Quiet and undiscovered and very, very raw. Oh my God, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> cool. I just hope it doesn't break. Oh my God, look at that. Ah! <laughs> I feel so adventurous right now. Okay, this palm tree is like literally 30 centimeters off the ground. <laughs> doesn't matter. I'm an adventurer. <laughs> This place is incredible. I'm gonna set up a little picnic here. You can sit down and relax, have a cold, refreshing drink here in this beautiful but super humid wadi. Wow. There's so many beautiful plants and wildlife here. I mean, look at that one. These vines just behind me, they look like they're in the shape of a human being with the arms outstretched on both sides. You know, I'm absolutely amazed by this place because I think when we picture Saudi Arabia, at least out in the West, we probably picture a lot of sand and, and desert, but we definitely don't picture wild raw greenery like this. There's the huge palm trees everywhere, but there's also the bushes and the vines that surround them and grow on them and, and cover them and create these mysterious shapes. And it feels like it belongs to a completely different era. Like it's prehistoric. It's so raw, untouched, so pristine. It doesn't look like the world of today. I'm just walking around this wadi to see what else I can find here. And it looks like up there could be a really nice view, but it requires a little bit of climbing. <sighs> okay, almost there. Oh, this is not as easy as it looks, given the high levels of humidity around here. Oh, I'm almost at the top. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. There's so many of these boulders, giant huge rocks all around here. It's honestly like an adult playground. <laughs> if you're into climbing and bouldering and adventuring, this is just so cool. Can you imagine setting up camp somewhere in between these rocks and just enjoying the silence, the crickets, and this beautiful landscape. This tree here looks like the Adenium obesum, basically the obese tree. It is one of those trees that hold all the water inside their trunk, that's why it's so big and fat, and that's how they can thrive. And Once in a while, they have these beautiful pink flowers, that's when they blossom, absolutely gorgeous, but these are pretty barren apart from some green leaves right now. I saw something super, super cool fly into this bush right here. Oh, oh, it just flew away onto another bush. Let me chase it. I want to show you. 
this really cool insect. No idea what it is, but it looks really big and colorful. Oh, wow, look at this guy. So cool. I just hope that there are no snakes here. There probably are many. I sincerely hope I don't meet any of them. Okay, as always, I've let my fantasy run loose and now I'm a little bit lost. I mean, <laughs> I can see the wadi right there, but I can't get through because these bushes are super thick. There's a lot of thorns in them and I don't know what kinds of snakes and things are in there, so I would rather not cross. But how do I get out of here? Look at that. Those vines over there, they look like a camel, don't they? Falling over every third step, but I think I can get through these bushes. These are not too thick. Okay, I'm here. Wow, can you see that sweat? Ooh, that is real adventuring sweat. We're back. I'm just walking back to the car right now and I see that there's another car just in front of our little camp. No idea who that is. Looks like a Jeep. I don't know if it's local or if it's official. Let's have a look. Hello. Assalamu yeah, alaikum. Hi. <laughs> we got some friends here. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> okay, I think these guys must be locals. And we're making some coffee. Okay, let's grab a seat <laughs> and drink some coffee together. <laughs> like, uh, so he was saying that he's honored uh, when you said when you told him your name. Oh, yay! <laughs> Thank you, Tamam. That's my best service This is coffee. I know it doesn't really look like the sort of typical black coffee that we see normally in the shops. But this coffee is a light, sort of golden roast Arabic coffee with cardamom and saffron. And it smells absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. Whew, I can't wait to try some of this. Oh, it's Look. <laughs> and a cup for me too. Your coffee is absolutely delicious. Some of the best coffee I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh look, there's more people joining. <laughs> Looks like we've got more guests coming our way. We had come to this oasis expecting to see a place of natural beauty, but what we found in the end was so much more than that. This short afternoon that we spent in the company of a few local kids over coffee was definitely the most special part of the entire trip. So these boys were just here sitting with us having some tea and coffee and they just left and what did they say to you? I was like, are you sleeping here tonight? And we were like, oh no, we're leaving. And I was like, but when are you coming back? So I was like, okay, I, I'm going to ask you a question. Like, do you want us back? And I was like, yeah, I want you back. That's so <laughs> That's adorable. So cute. That's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so would you say that we found like a little slice of paradise here? Oh yes, we did. Yeah, we oh, did. Yes, yeah, we, we did, did for sure. It's beautiful, huh? Yeah, we could Unfortunately, we have to go because the road doesn't wait for anybody. 
And on this note, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's always more adventures waiting around the corner. <laughs> Thanks guys so much and I'll see you in the next vlog. Mwah! little disclaimer my trip to Saudi Arabia was entirely independent and 100% self-funded I did not come here on the invitation of the government or any business at all in fact I came to Saudi to experience the culture the history and the nature firsthand for myself and to meet the people that live here for the full context of my entire Saudi Arabia trip to see all the places I visited and all the people I've met you can head over to my channel and check out the entire series right from the beginning. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next vlog. Mwah.